very simple calculator and make very simple calculation. In this case, 40 liters, 40% uh, sorry of uh, spirit, supposed to be multiplied by 9 liters of actual spirit. And then we have to find out the percentage. It will equal to 3.6 liters of purified spirit at 100%. So it's equal 3.6 liters. Now we have to find out the amount of uh, methylated spirit that's going to be produced first in this column. In this case, calculation is very simple. 3.6 liters we have to multiply by 10%. So in this case, we're multiplying 3. 10% uh, of 3.6 is very easy. It would be equal to 360 milliliters of spirit. So now we have to find out the uh, middle fraction that will include uh, very light impurities such as methanol and other stuff and uh, bonded with ethanol. So in this case the percentage could vary from 5 to 10 percent as well. So uh, let's say in this case it's going to be equal to 5 percent. In most cases it's just around 5 percent but everything depends on the quality of your mesh. Uh, how long it was uh, fermenting and conditions it was fermenting it. So, 5% uh, of 3.6 liters, it's, it's very easy to find out, so we'll have it 3.6 liters multiplied by 5%, it's equals 0 0.18, so it's uh, 180 mils. 100 and 80 milliliters, so it's a uh, methanol fractions and his uh, middle fractions. Uh, further, we have to find out the amount of uh, butyl alcohol. Uh, it's the last fraction and it's the uh, most unpleasant one, so we don't want it to be present in our good spirit. So. We have to take uh, we have to take our total amount of spirit of 3.6 liter 3.6 liter and in this case there is going to be 3.6 percent of butanol so we have to multiply it by sorry 3.5 percent so it's equal equals to 126 mils. 126 milliliters of uh, butyl alcohol. And finally we have to find out how much of real ethanol we're gonna get out of this machine. Uh, to find out this we have to add all the impurities together. So in this case We've got 360 mils, so it's a point 360 plus 180 point 180 and plus point 126. It's equal to 666 mils. So just subtract 3.6 3.6 it equals to 2 liters 934 mils so it's going to be 2.934 milliliters of ethanol but you have to keep in mind that uh, presence of all those impurities actually affecting the actual accuracy of uh, hydrometer. So in reality you have to be prepared to get uh, somewhere around 2.5 liters of ethanol. And it doesn't mean that you having losses during the distillation. It's mean you just didn't have the spirit 
in here this amount of spirit so all of this is just approximation but it gives you uh, uh, some kind of guideline and it's not a guesswork so once you get your first spirit you're gonna be prepared to get your second third and fourth spirits so fourth spirits are so awful that nobody gonna take it it just smells awful once you finish your distillation and you smell what left in your steel you will be amazed how before people were capable to drink this homebrew stuff uh, first fraction gonna be collected separately and could be used in your old style lawnmower because it's a uh, almost like petrol. Second fraction gonna be collected separately and used in the second distillation because it contains somewhere around 26 percent of uh, methanol and the rest is a good spirit so we don't want to waste it we just have to collect it separately and store it somewhere and 2.9 in this case I would believe it's gonna be 2.5 liters of ethanol so you have to be prepared to get from 10 to 20 percent less of actual ethanol than you calculated because the uh, presence of those spirits as I said uh, are gonna affect the actual readings so this particular spirit is gonna be used for our whatever drinking purposes so once we switch our system on we have to be sure this step is closed and this one is open so we're providing sufficient cooling, cooling to our home. We don't want to find out it's just steaming because we don't want to lose any spirit and don't want to have any trouble in our kitchen. Approximately after uh, 